What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout New Vegas video. In the last one, what we ended up doing is uh, essentially going around this entire city or town of Novak and we talked to this individual right in front of us whose name is Boone and we essentially helped him out in finding who sold his wife to the Legion. And in doing so, we ended up finding out exactly who was the culprit and as a result, we ended up getting him as a companion. So. As you can see by taking by uh, by him standing uh, right next to us essentially he is now our companion so that's actually something really really cool in my opinion and I'm actually excited to get him to combat and find out what the whole situation with him is so uh, with that being said we are now going to be going over to the Repcon building and doing the side quest over uh, for Manny Vargas so that he could essentially tell us where the quote-unquote man in the checkered suit went so with that being said um yeah let's get on with it all right so something that i just realized though is that my life would be significantly better if i had um what is it called stealth boys but the problem with that <laughs> is i think i sold them all so let's go ahead and wait till the morning and see if we can potentially buy some back. I know it's kind of a waste of money, but oh well. Alright, sorry, I was uh, getting a quick drink really quick. Uh, let's go see if we can talk to old boy over here. Alrighty. I don't think... Oh, speaking of my, Manny Vargas, he's right there. Hey, Cliff Briscoe. I don't know if you know, but since Jeannie May passed, I've been keeping an eye on her properties for her. I think it's time we gave everything back to you, so take this key and make yourself at home at our motel. It'll open the room on the second floor, closest to the lobby. Hope it suits you. Oh. That's actually pretty fucking dope, dude. I got my own place. <laughs> I killed Ginny May. Do I get my discount? Do I still get my discount? Actually, I, I'm curious. You killed her? Why would you do something like that? Um... <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at the time. Um, shit. Uh, she had it coming? Lord almighty, I can't for the life of me imagine her doing anything that'd make someone want to kill her. You have no idea. Not that I'm saying you're a liar, of course. I'm just surprised is all. Will there be anything else? Well, let's see what you got for sale. Sure thing. Have a look. So I guess I don't get my discount. Uh, and if I do, he didn't say anything, so there's that. Uh, boxing times, doctor's bags, um, uh, I don't think, nah, damn it, he doesn't have, hey, I could almost buy that gun, I don't want it though, but, because it's a ballistic weapon. And I'm not really spec for that, but it's pretty cool that I can buy it. But crap, dude. Now I need stealth boys, though. I regret selling them before. Oh, well. Let's go check out my new place. I didn't even realize that you could buy your own place. Which one did he say he was? Manny Vargas's room. Door to motel. That's Boone's room. It's gonna be enough. Is this my my room? Um. Oh, this is my house right here. Or technically my apartment. I want to check this out though. I mean, it's no. Get out of here. I want to check out my place. All right. Maybe if I'm lucky, there'd be some stim packs. Who am I kidding? There's gonna be no stim packs, is there? Or not stim packs, but uh. All right. Yep, I'm done. Let's go. Nice room and all. Don't need it. Looks like we're gonna have to figure this out. But Repcom building, here we come. This is Ginny May's old house. Salesman Weekly, don't mind if I do. She's dead. Rest in, uh... 
in hell, dude. She's such a piece of shit, dude. How are you gonna save... I mean, how are you gonna sell somebody to slavery? If you have no right to that person's life just to begin with, you know what I mean? What a POS. Alright, let's see here. Looks like we got a dead glowing one. So we should probably be careful. Because that only means one thing. There's going to be ferals coming from somewhere. Oh god, that scared the shit out of me. Why is this freaking locking into Boone from behind me? Shouldn't there be ferals around here? Oh, there's one right there. Let's go ahead and switch camera views. Can I even shoot this far? Let's see. Oh god, he moved. Alright, so maybe this would be a little harder than I thought. Oh god, this is... It is really hard. Got him, though. It is really hard to aim with precision. Uh, damn it. Oh, well, since I've been caught already anyway, so. Hello. Let's get a nice, sick-ass headshot. Dope. Thank you, Boone. Ooh, bottle caps. Don't mind if I do. Where's that melted one? What do you have? Cat eye? I don't, I don't want to take some drugs. Ash pile. Oh, fuck. I didn't even see this guy. Die! <clears throat> Is he the only one? Nightkin. Stealth boy. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, fuck. Now I'm over encumbered. I should have left some of my shit back there. Crap. Actually, you know what I could do? Boon. You need armor anyways. Open up your inventory. Where's your, uh... Open inventory. By me. Alright, let's see here. Apparel, you can take... You could take... That. How much is that? I mean, how much does it weigh? 25? Holy shit, dude. All right, later. I don't really need much weight anyways. Oh, look, it's another one of these guys. Laser rifle? Do I even have a laser rifle? I do have a laser rifle. Mine's not very good condition, so I'm definitely taking this. So that I can uh, fix mine up. Oh, look, it's another one of uh, the, the Bright Brotherhood. Plasma rifle? I don't have a plasma rifle, do I? I don't. Whoops. So I'm taking that. Both ammo types that I use. Don't mind if I do. Oh, that's locked. Uh, mine box. I mean, I... It could come in handy. Dude, this is a lot of ammo that I definitely could be using. Oh, crap. Taking a lot of junk I don't need. Alright. What's in this box? More ammunition. Cool, dude. I think we're good. We're golden. Alright, let's take a nap. Let's go, Boone. You ready? You look sexy as hell in that ranger outfit. Don't mess it up for me, dude. You're a sniper, so they shouldn't be getting close to you anyways. I like how they turn red. Because Boone is right is my companion. Boone's honestly a pretty badass. He's my favorite companion in this game. Come on. Oh, come on. Got that guy. All right. Spotted. You're mine. Die! Whoop. Well, I definitely need to use a rifle.
but at the same time, nah. All right. So far, so good. Uh, let's check out this Bright Brotherhood guy. Every time I hear the Bright Brotherhood, I always think of the Brotherhood of Steel. Laser rifle, definitely taking that for fixing purposes. Where are we at? How many are there left? Oh, there goes another one right here. I need stealth boys, man. These guys need to give me some stealth boys. Hold on, let's uh, switch more ammo. Don't mind if I do, broski. No, not that. What am I? No. There. There we go. This guy's screwed. What's up, bro? Ah! Dude, he is so dead. Red X, not really in uh, the need for that, but I'll definitely take those bottle caps. Is there any more dead Bright Brotherhood people up here? Oh, dude, I was right. Ash pile, dude. Uh, those ash piles, I think, are... Uh, are, what are they called? Uh, Nightkins. Looks like my laser rifle is in full condition. So that's good. Oh, yes, another fucking stealth boy, bro. I need that. Let's check the side real quick. Only because you never know. I don't want to go all the way over there. Alright, come on, Boone. We got business to take care of. Well, there's a bright brotherhood right here. All right, plasma rifle. All right, I still haven't fixed up that other plasma rifle. Um, can I fix? No. Oh, it's because that's a plasma pistol. This is a plasma rifle. Tracking. That was my bad. Ooh, there's some more uh, ammo boxes over here, though. Not gonna say no to. Uh, free ammo all right I think we're good we've had we've had enough of all that stuff let's go into the repcon kill building hey oh shit over here. are you listening no go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up and hurry um so who are you who I am doesn't matter, Smooth Skin. Stop wasting time and get up here. Smooth Skin, eh? Definitely a feral. Uh, where are you located? Like I said, find the metal staircase in the big room on the east side of the building. It's where they used to make rockets. <laughs> Alright, got it. Let's hope you do. Alright. Oh, another Nikon. Definitely need that. Hell yeah, another plasma rifle too, so we're definitely coming up with all the plasma rifles, dude. And, uh, well, laser weapons in general. Hello. I think I should have said goodbye instead. Because there was no way in hell that guy was going to survive. He definitely said east. But I'm going west. Oh, fuck. Uh, dude came out with a freaking blade. Um, another Bright Brotherhood. Are I going to take that rifle? Because I'm not sure if my laser rifle is at full condition. All right, it is. So I'm going to drop that one then. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Dude, laser weapons are so badass. Alright. We've got to be going in the right direction, right? Wait, what's over here? 
Gotta make sure I clear this place of ferals. Door Repcon test site. I think this and that other way both lead in the right, in the same direction, I mean. I'm guessing, of course. Oh, see, this is where I was gonna come up originally. Open Foot Locker, definitely take that. 22 LR, I mean, I suppose I'll take that sound, says Hasparilla. There's a lot of, there's a lot of loot here, huh? Don't want any of that. Uh, definitely, it's, I mean, this is a good way to get, um, bottle caps, it looks like. Very easy. I can handle very easy. Damn, look at that. I didn't even try. Tool cabinet? No. No, that one's empty. I don't even know why I opened it. Metal box. These are all empty. What was the point of freaking... Oh, shit. What's up, bro? I'm about to say, are you gonna die? I mean, are you, am I gonna hit you or what? Oh, that's where we came in. Another Bright Brotherhood. Okay, cool. So he definitely has a plasma rifle. Bam, dude, my pla one more plasma rifle and I got it uh, to 100 condition. And there it goes. Woo-wee. Yup, it's at full condition. I might pick up one more just to make sure it's at full condition. Does it tell you? Other than that little bar? Honestly, I don't know. Hello. Oh my. I can't believe that didn't kill him first try. Alright, cool. He's got a plasma rifle, so let's test this out. Yep. Full condition. Alright, so where am I going anyways? I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just kind of... Figuring it out as I go along. All right, well, we've already been here. I hear these guys. Hello. Can't run from me. Plasma rifles are fucking amazing. Company. Oh, dude, I gotta make sure I search all these nightkins and ash piles just in case they have, uh, just in case they have some more, uh, stealth boys, man, because I need them. Let me see what's over here. Sounds like there's a feral up here somewhere. Have I been here? Oh. Boone definitely just took somebody out. I think we're good though. Alright, let's just search. Oh, this is empty. Um, bottle caps. Actually, I'll take that Sunset Sarsaparilla just in case I get a, bo a star bottle cap. I think you can get them that way too. Alright, let's go up these stairs. Whatever it is I'm looking for is... Definitely gonna be up there. Boone, you just scared the shit out of me, bro. Alright, come on. Oh, got another Bright Brotherhood guy. I don't need any more laser weapons or plasma weapons. So we're good. Requires key. You! Alright, Smootskin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. Um... Okay. God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Yeah, you're not a ghoul. Your pranks won't work on me, Smooth Skin. They won't work on Jason either. Smooth Skin? But your skin looks pretty freaking smooth to me, man. Stop wasting my time, Smooth Skin. Go waste Jason's. I should take him out right now before he realizes. Wait, what's in here? Nothing. Alright, hey, um... What am I wearing anyways? Oh, leather armor. What does this do again? 
Nothing. It's just light armor. Aw, oh, man. You're really gonna do this to me? Alright, where this, where's this Jason fella? Well, in here, it he isn't. He's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Alright. Well, he's definitely downstairs then. You! Are you Jason? N no. Where is this guy? Are you? No. Are you? No. This dude is literally gone as fuck. Door to Ripcon facility. Who are you? You're another follower. Another follower? And these are all owned. Come on, man. Where is this guy? All these people and all... Oh, there he is. Hi. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Uh, I'm here because feral ghouls have been wandering into Novak, actually. And they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? Those ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. The demons must have let them out. Somehow. And now they are lost forever. Denied the salvation and healing glow of the far beyond. Please, Wanderer. Bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is one that we can save later. Once the way is clear, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great journey. If there are any left. So tell me more about these uh, so-called demons. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. So, uh, demons, uh, never really appeared, and we're finding nightkins with stealth boys. I wonder where these guys are. You say one of the demons, quote-unquote, raved at you? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should be set outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Cool. So now we got the key to the Repcon basement. Um. Okay, we gotta leave here, it looks like. Boon. You gotta stop freaking appearing in front of me like that, bro. Fuck, you're gonna get me. You're gonna make me kill you. Go! Alright, I'm pretty sure it's this way. Wait, can I check this? Does this have a... No, just rebar. Alright. I should probably go into sneak mode. Alright, Boone. You better stay hidden, homeboy. Dark in here. If you want to use a scope, I can spot for you. Keep you in touch. You know what, Boone? Come on, you need to just stay over here. 
Boom. Alright. Uh. Oh god, I can hear one of them. Alright, Boone, you're staying here, alright? Uh, how do I make him stay? Alright, yeah, wait here. Sit tight. Meanwhile, let me take a... Oh, crap. Oh, there's one right there. I should probably save it. Because I don't want to get caught, man. So, don't be surprised if you see some uh, reloading. I'm gonna try to do this stealthily. I'm nervous. Who got through that way? Hold on. This way. Oh, look who it is. That Adler. We have a visitor. An assassin, more like. I say kill it, Adler. For safe sake. Hmm? Okay, Adler. I'll ask. Uh, hi, human. Why you come here? Um. I came on behalf of the ghouls upstairs. A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. Crap. To meet the ones upstairs, Antler used intercom, told them stay put, but they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Um, alright, all right, well, what are you here? Uh, let me see. Maybe I can help you. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. Why can't you search the last room? A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Ghoul is a crack shot and set traps too. After I realized, I heard Antler wrong. So I locked the door to keep kin out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then you come along. Antler says you are solution. So... I'll find the stealth, uh, the stealth boy stockpile for you if you will leave this place. Deal? Yes. Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. Okay. Um. So it looks like I have to go into this other room. Alright, this could be interesting to say the least. Stealth boy, hell yeah, dude. I think I have uh, a good amount already. Use key. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. I'm not? Who the hell are you? You know, just the man. Uh, Jason sent me down here to get rid of these demons. And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. Alright, so how did you end up trapped down here? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, alright? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm <laughs> trapped. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, 
Turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. Uh oh. And things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room. Set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. Uh, you don't look like the other ghouls uh, from Bright's group. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? Just a tad. I never did buy into that religious mumbo jumbo with the robes and all that shit. <laughs> it gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine looking ghoulettes in it. Huh? Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, <laughs> I helped them out. And they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Um. How have you survived? I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Condensation off the pipes for water. And I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. It sounds gross. Uh, so how can I get you out of this room? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mute bastards came out of nowhere. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely find your friend. Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay. Alright, so hopefully I can get close enough to search this guy. Damn it. And I'm not even going to try that guy. Because if I get close, too close, I think that guy would literally shoot me. So let's go ahead and do another save. Because uh, this is where it's going to be interesting to say the least. Alright, we got four stealth boys. That's all I have. Shit, dude. Alright. Gotta be careful, man. Alright, this is where I'm gonna use a stealth boy. Does this give me... Sneak, uh, plus 100. Stealth field, plus 75. Shit. Oh, God. I'm nervous. Oh, no. There's one right there. Okay, can you please go away, sir? How long does this last for? Well... Holy fuck, that scared the shit out of me. Well, it looks like I can pretty much move freely. It'll be my luck that the fucking stealth boy goes away. Ah. As soon as, uh... Alright, let's save it right here. Because we're pretty much out of here. So, definitely having a stealth boy has helped. We'll save it just in case my stealth boy or my stealth field goes away. Fuck that. This guy definitely has a big weapon. Oh my god, dude. I'm so glad I decided to get some freaking stealth boys. Open desk, jail key, absolutely. All right. This is actually pretty freaking terrifying, dude. Ah. All right, we're doing great though. It looks like one stealth boy is enough to get us through the entire thing. Fucking awesome, dude. I've never actually done it this way. I usually just regular sneak. I never actually thought to use um, a stealth boy before this. Is this, is this the friend? Alright, cool. Found Harlan's friend. Oh my god. Stealth boy time now. I might as well save it again. 
Let's go. Alright, this is not the way. Come on, baby. Let's get all the way out of here. Dude, having sneak 100 plus 75 stealth field is pretty freaking amazing. Holy shit. Woo! Like, no lie, my heart is actually beating right now. Because these Nikin are fucking brutal, dude. Not because, uh, they're, like, very difficult to kill. They are a little tough. Like, they are pretty tanky, all things considering. But, uh, they're actually really, really fully fuck. As I was saying, they were, they're really, really fast. Oh, my God. There's one right behind me. Oh, my God. Well, it definitely looks like uh, having one of these is definitely the way to go. Hey. Did you find my friend? I did, as a matter of fact. I see. Well, spare me the details. Damn it. I'm going to miss that crooked yellow smile. All right. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm going to make a break for topside. So this is where he is either going to die, ouch, or live. But chances are he's going to die. All right, let's see. Uh, shipment mistake. Crap. Oh, all right, let's see. Uh, to Robco HQ department from Bill Martin Repcon custodian. Dear Robco Supply, first off, let me say that everyone here is really excited about the merger it's uh super to be part of uh, a company that as excited as robco uh have we some kinks in the supply chain yesterday a bunch of crates got delivered here containing two gross uh of devices called stealth boys it is okay oh is it okay if i ask what these things are do they really make you invisible that sounds wild uh, what will Robco think of next? Uh, let me know if the shipment came here by mistake. No problem if they didn't. I bet you have a lot of fun with these things. Thanks, Bill Martin. Workplace misbehavior. Uh, to all staff, okay. Uh, from Human Resources Manager Daniel. Okay. In light of yesterday's up setting events all employees are hereby directed to give a thorough reading to repcom sexual harassment and workplace behavior policies also while it is not explicitly stated in the employee handbook unauthorized use of military hardware against fellow employees is grounds for immediate termination sincerely daniel whatever okay shipment sent back uh-oh uh, -oh. uh... Uh, supply department to Repcon custodian. Okay. Hi, Rob. Clo uh, hi, Rob Co. Supply. Uh, we are sending back two crates of device labeled Stealth Boys back to you according to the miss, uh, to the manifest. Each crate contained one gross, uh, 144 of the, of the devices. Damn. That's a lot. As a result of employee misbehavior, not mine. One uh, crate was opened and is missing five stealth boys. Sorry about that. Sincerely, custodian. Well, found out exactly where they're at. Be careful, you're gonna end up dying, guys. Oh, fuck, I think I'm gonna end up dying. I wonder if he's gonna make it. I should definitely, I think he made it, actually. We'll find out later if he made it or not. Hey, you. Let me put away my gun. Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? Uh, kind of. There's no stockpile of stealth boys in this building, bro. Liar! The envoy said stealth boys here. Antler read it out loud to me. They were here. They, they were sent here by mistake, and then they were sent back. But invoice note said stealth boys were here. Why can't that note be true? What, Antler? But human could be lying. Is stealing the stealth boys for itself. Oh, Antler, you trust so easy. 
Your lucky day, human. Antler, believe you. Nikon will follow the new note to find stealth boys. Better be there. All right. Um, I'm kind of curious. Hold on. If I can see what's inside of his uh, inventory. Like, I wonder if I can pickpocket him. That's it? Just a frat? Oh, he's detected, so... Nope. Nothing. Nothing spectacular. So let's go ahead... Can I go through here? Okay, so it's not even opened, it looks like. I wonder if I can actually just walk out of here without them attacking me now. So the answer is yes. Let's go ahead and take a nap. All right, you. Uh, follow me. There we go. Come on, Boone. We gotta talk to some uh, some ghouls. Let them know that we have erectified the situation. We actually did this pretty fucking quick, dude. Normally it takes me a long time because I don't use stealth boys, but. Man, that was such a mistake, dude. I wish I would have used uh, Stealth Boys a long time ago, dude. Because I would have been able to do this super quick. Oh, look. He's he's here. You did good, Smooth Skin. Never thought I'd get out of that room. Later. Later. All right, let's go talk to the Mr. Bright Man. There you go. Come here, Mr. Glowing One. Is the way clear? Uh, the demons are definitely gone. Praise the creator, and bless you, wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, wanderer. There is much to be done. All right. Hey, wait. No, wait, I want. I still. Got, I want to talk to you about the great journey, dude. You are fast. Well, I'm not gonna catch up to him. Look at all of them going. Um. Is anyone at all staying behind? No. Alright, well let's go and see if we can talk to them in the basement, I'm assuming. Whoa, dude, look at them. They look like aliens. I suppose we can follow them, even though I know where they're going. Hiya! They're going to the where to the basement area where that uh, where David's, Davidson was the leader of the uh, Nightkins. All right, so now we go through here and then we go left, and then we go this way, and then they should be right in here. Look at that; it's open now on the bottom. Stairs, yes, they are. All right, I don't trust this, so we're definitely gonna have our weapon out, just in case. Watch there be landmines, and I just blow up. I wouldn't be surprised to be honest. I have that kind of luck. Let's look around, make sure there's nothing we're missing. It doesn't look like there's anything. Just a bunch of junk that I don't really need. I want like unique weapons and ammo, or not ammo, and uh, armor. Um, nothing at all in here. Just an empty foot locker. What's in this one? Dude, what's the point of even having doors open if there's absolutely nothing in them? That leads outside. All right, spacesuit. Oh, stim pack. Don't mind if I do. Medex. I don't really want mentats. Let's see what's inside this thing. Oh, it's empty. All right, let's talk to the bright man. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, 
but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. So what is this great journey you keep talking about? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Are you seriously going to make your great journey on these rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Those rockets uh, will convey you and your flock straight into the ground. <laughs> Alright, wait. Uh, what is this far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. Alright, uh, let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human, but this only angered him. He seemed lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us to ensure the success of the great journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your redeemers both. Uh, so you're going to leave him behind? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Um... Let's see here. Uh, wow, you really pulled the wool over your eyes. I take no pleasure in hiding the truth from Chris, but it is the Creator's will to which I must submit. So back to the rockets. They will definitely convey you and your flock straight into the ground, bro. I hope you understand this. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. Oh god, later. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Well, Chris is gonna be heartbroken. Speaking of which, here he comes. So, we gotta talk, bro. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. So, what do you do here anyways? I'm the flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the great journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. So, why don't you... Uh, hmm. Let me see. So, the uh, how can I help you? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Um, alright, let's go find the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. 
That's nothing. All right, uh, let's go do that. Bye. All right, let's see the map and actually see how far it is. Oh, it's actually not that far at all. We could just fast travel to Novak and then... Oh, dude, whoa. We're going to get this done in no time. And... We have a fast way in and out of here. All right. Whoops. Uh, Novak, it is. We're going to literally be able to do both of these so quick. It's not even funny. All right, come on. Let's go. We got to we got we got we got to get this igniting agent so that we can get these ghouls off into their quote unquote <laughs> great journey. They're going to fucking die, bro. Let's be real. Let's be honest here. Shouldn't be too far from here actually. What are we looking for anyways? Barrels or something? But then again, he did say that it was only two or three liters, so we definitely don't need much. It actually looks like we're close based off the little marker on the left. Yep, that, that's got to be it right there. Ooh, a radiation suit. Let's go ahead and uh, take whatever this guy has. Oh, there it is, the igniting agent. Mr. Radical's journal. Rad suit. Oh, no, I'm actually overweight um I don't really want to read this so right now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do I'll take the buff out screw it I think I can actually just fast travel quickly back to the repcon test site Dude, that was like cake, man. Um, all right, the entrance is right over here. I don't even need my weapon right now. Let's go. Boone, I hope you're ready. Now they just need one more part, apparently. Have you found the components we discussed? Uh, yeah, I found the in I found an entire container of igniting agent. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. All right, let's go. Let's go do that. Later. Toodles. How far is this? That's also not far. What is this anyways? Oh, it's Gibson scrapyard. Do I have to steal it from her? Probably. All right, let's go and fast travel to her place. Luckily for us, we've already discovered it. Shouldn't be too difficult. Oh no. I'm I'm fat. Let's go ahead and rest to the morning so that she can be sitting in here and we don't have to like bother her in her sleep. 9, it should be 10 o'clock. All right, there you are. Lady, come here. Miss Gibson. So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Uh, do you have any thrust control modules from the Repcom, uh, Repcon in stock? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules. 500? Expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. Shit. Shit. Fuck. All right, let's do this. Pleasure. Do you have a buff out by any chance? So, you're back. Uh, show me what you have for sale. Do you have buff out, lady? It doesn't look like it. Oh, God. She has a lot of things I could use, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Nope, I'm screwed. Um, what can I do? Um... Uh, let's drink two of these. I don't care for that, so let's get rid of those. Stealth boys. I mean, value is 200. I might as well sell them to her. So, you're back. I'm not going to need them anytime soon anyways. So, let's just... 
go down the list and sell everything we don't need. Um, five, five, six. The unique stuff I want to definitely keep. Um, fuel. You can have the mines. Hmm. Alright, what was it that I was going to sell? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, Stealth Boys. Sell the Stealth Boys for sure. Well, I guess that's it. Another satisfy Yep, if you say so. And now I should be able to fast travel no problem. Rep contest site. Alright, I gotta turn around. I always forget that it's behind me. Ah! Hiya! Bam! Oh god. Dude, we're literally about to watch these guys blast off, aren't we? Chris! Have you found the components we discussed? As a matter of fact, we did. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. No big deal. So the rockets are all set to go, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. Wait, hold on. It is almost time for the... Alright, let's go. Later. Let's we have everything we see need what's going to gonna happen with this guy. Jason. The great journey can begin. Is that it? Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends. One you, the other a long abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Hey. Well, they definitely left him behind. Did you hear him? My god, you were right all along. I'm no ghoul. No shit. They were just using me. Um, they'd take you if you could, Chris, but you would die. And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? Um, let me see. They're going to revere you like a saint, Chris. Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? Yeah. What a crock. The human race can't stand me. That's not true. You're not that bad. So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland? <laughs> no, Is that it? not really. Uh, there's a little town called Nova, uh, Novak down the road. Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. Maybe it'll be different this time. I was never a saint before. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. You go launch the rockets. I'm on my way to Novak. Alright, uh, all right, bye. <laughs> Let's go ahead and launch these rockets, dude. We're about to watch these dudes fly away. <laughs> oh, dude, this is going to be amazing. I can't wait to see this. Oh, my God. Let me sprint, damn it. 
Luckily, it's really not that far. It just sucks because it's really slow. Alrighty. We're almost there. I feel like this is like 10 miles away. But I mean, I figure, I mean, we figured that we got a pretty, we're getting a pretty decent ending so far for these guys. Uh, I don't know what just happened. I got a, a little achievement for something, but I missed it. I didn't get a chance to read it in time. Oh, well. Oh, well, I'll probably read it when we, uh, when I'm in the editing process. Dude, this is freaking far. Um, is it this way? It's gotta be in here. Yep. Alrighty, what does this do? Navigation? Uh, console seems to have something to do with the course plotted for the rockets, but you can't make heads or tails out of it. 55? What do I have? Uh, science, uh, 25. Do I have anything to boost science? Hold on, let's go all the way to the top. Energy weapons, barter. Nope, I don't. So, let's push buttons. <laughs> I love it. Alrighty. Uh, Novak, liked. Enough news of your good works have been passed around uh, that people actually like you. Nice. Um, Alright, well, that's definitely going to have to do it for this video, guys. We are just over an hour. Well, hold up. Let's go ahead and do this really quick. Um, let me see. For now... Ah, screw it. Let's go ahead and put this in energy weapons. I... Oh. Alright, yeah, we'll put this in energy weapons. We're done, pretty much. We just need a couple more in energy, and then... Uh, we'll find out what our next perk is going to be in. But for now, we're definitely going to have to call it a video, guys. Uh, in the next one, we're definitely going to go back to Novak and find out what the whole situation is with uh, this quote-unquote man in the checkered suit is. So, uh, yeah, if you're excited for that, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.